Hi everyone, my name is Neville. In today's episode, I'm comparing two cameras, the Fuji X-T30 and the Canon M6 Mark II. How this works is that I'm going to show you some specifications on the cameras and then I'm going to go and show you images that I've taken at different locations. So let's jump in and take a look at some specs. In comparing these two cameras, I've taken a look at the two kits that they are available in. The X-T30 comes with a body, an 18 to 55 f 2.8 to f4 lens with a battery and the Canon M6 Mark II comes with a body. The kit lens is a 15 to 45 f 3.5 to 6.3 lens with a battery but the electronic viewfinder is separate to the camera. Taking a look at some of the specifications, you'll see that the Fuji is a 26 megapixel and the Canon is a 33 megapixel. Both are APS sensors and the Fuji sensor is slightly larger than the Canon. The Fuji camera also has more focus points at 425 points versus the Canon camera at 143 points. On the battery life on the Fuji camera, the battery life is 380 shots approximately, and the Canon is about 305 shots. Something to note interestingly is on the video resolution. Both cameras are able to do 4K, but if you look at the X-T30, you'll see that the video resolution at 4K is 4096 and 2160 versus the Canon which is 3840 by 2160. This means that the Canon camera is actually slightly smaller in its 4K resolution but remember that the chip is larger, it's a 33 megapixel camera. So when you look at the photo resolution you'll see that the photography resolution on the Fuji camera is 6240 by 4160 and this is where the Canon shines out a bit further, is that its resolution is 6960 by 4640. Something to note very specifically for me as a photographer is that the Fuji camera does not shoot tethered. This means you cannot put a USB cable from the camera to the computer and shoot directly into a program like Lightroom or Capture One. The Canon camera on the, on the other hand can do that. For video footage, you'll see that the Fuji camera does have microphone and headphone support via the USB-C socket and the Canon camera only has microphone support, no headphone support. On the Fuji camera, the electronic viewfinder is built in. However, on the Canon camera, the electronic viewfinder is detachable. And the reason for this is that on the tilting screen on the Canon camera, you're able to tilt the screen up fully so if you're a flogger, this will help you to be able to see yourself on screen while filming yourself. You'll see here I've taken a whole lot of images. I've put them together just as a sort of a contact sheet for now. And I'm going to go in and explain some of these images a little bit more in depth that you can see what I've done with the photography. On the first image, we've got a photograph taken on the beach. The camera's focusing points are set at more or less the same area, which is the rock in the middle of the image towards the back. And if we're going a little bit closer, you can see that the Canon camera is a little bit sharper on that rock, whereas the Fuji camera seems to be a little bit sharper on the foreground rock. But the thing that I noticed the most about this image is what's happening in the background. With the Fuji camera, which is now on the left hand side, of your screen, you'll see that there's a lot of background blur as opposed to the Canon camera which is a lot sharper in the image. And that was surprising for me considering that I was photographing or focusing rather on the rocks in the foreground. Going to another location, we're looking at dynamic range test. And yeah, looking at the rocks, you can see as I go in closer on the left hand side, you'll see on the Canon camera there's a lot more dynamic range. It's holding those highlights much better than the Fuji, which you can see on the right-hand side of the screen. 
and you'll see here also that on the focusing close up on the rock detail both cameras are doing quite well here what i did notice is that the canon camera does have a slight leaning towards the magenta and the fuji camera does have a slight leaning towards more green especially in the shadow areas taking another photograph just looking a little bit more at the infinity area um, we're looking here at the beach and the houses and this is something that i picked up on the canon camera which made me aware of something that happened many years ago on another camera if you look here you'll see that the resolution or the image quality is slightly fuzzy on the canon camera again on the left hand side whereas on the fuji camera this is quite sharp what you'll also notice on the canon camera side is the dynamic range and if you take a look at the woodwork of the pink house you can still see the grain of the wood in the Canon camera but this is sacrificed largely by the focus which is concerning for me having a look at the palm tree image you can see that the hues of the blue are much stronger if I go in closer you can see the detail of both images so it's quite good and nice to look at but when I go in closer or zooming in closer you'll see that on the left hand side the Canon image tends to be a little bit pixelated in the blues and the Fuji on the right hand side seems to be a little bit smoother I wanted to make sure that I wasn't seeing things coming from the beach photograph and so I took another photograph at another stage of the day and taking a look again at the detail and was I seeing things with regards to the blurriness of the Canon image so taking a look at this image I was not there's definitely something with the Canon lens that is not quite right in these lighting conditions and you can see again you've got that hazy blurriness as opposed to the Fuji which is very sharp and quite pleasant to look at in doing this I decided to go to the forest so in the canopy of the forest there's not a lot of hard light or harsh light and everything is quite subdued it was also a nice overcast day and taking a look at this particular image if we go in closer on the Canon side which is again on your left hand side of the screen you'll see there the Canon is holding a lot more detail as opposed to the Fuji camera and in this way it was going a little bit further into the forest and again you can see the Canon camera has got a nice view to it the nice colors strong colors as we are known from the Canon cameras and again if I take a look at the detail in the forest canopy it seems that the Canon camera is actually outperforming the Fuji camera and so I've been wondering if this is to do with the low light and the subdued light and here if I want to show you that if you go in closer and tighter on the Fuji camera you'll also notice that on this image right down at the bottom if you're looking at the ISO and the shutter speed and the aperture you'll see that the ISO is now at 800 because it's getting really dark down in the forest and the Fuji camera seems to be a lot more pixelated or grainy or noisy in the ISO range as opposed to the Canon which I found a little bit surprising coming back home I wanted to test my theory again about the lighting the lighting conditions here as you can see are a little bit stronger not so subdued as what is in the forest if you look at the image as a whole they both look quite pleasing but as soon as you go into the detail you'll see the Fuji on the right hand side is again a lot smoother and a lot more detail as opposed to the Canon camera which is just not holding that detail enough looking at another image I wanted to make sure that what I'm seeing is correct and I have a theory about the Canon lens which I'm going to share with you shortly again both images are quite pleasing to look at but as soon as you go into the detail you'll see that the Fuji camera again completely outperforms the Canon camera in this regard and this is what my theory is this lens this kit lens the 15 to 45 kit lens on the camera does not provide optically the performance needed for this camera 
I'm proving it to you again. I've come indoors, lighting conditions different, looking at extreme detail, and again, when you're looking at the image as a whole, everything looks fine. But as soon as you go in, take a look at this Canon image on the right hand side. It is soft and hazy and blurry, as opposed to the Fuji image, which is sharp and pleasing and a lot more accurate. So this leaves me to wonder, is this gadget, the EFM converter, is this the answer to Canon's non-performing lens? I'll leave you with this because this is what I'm going to be testing next and this will show you the difference that this EFM converter makes when putting different lenses onto the camera body. Subscribe and like if this is the type of content you want to see. Thank you for watching.